What's up everyone? I'm Ryan. I live in Cambodia. I make videos so you can see what it's like to live here in Cambodia, the Kingdom of Wonder. Today I want to talk about the development of the great city of Phnom Penh. There is something happening here. What it is, well, it's pretty clear. The city is changing. It's changed so much in the past 10 years. And even now, there's a new stadium. Skyscrapers are going up across the city. They're even building a new airport, which when complete will be the ninth largest airport in the entire world. Maybe even a direct flight to Canada. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. It's a good idea, great, great idea. Maybe uh, take, make, make, make that happen. Of course, to support all this, you need roads, you need land, you need people with hard helmets on, little Borean the Builders. You need infrastructure. You know what else is a word that deserves a graphic and an exclamation mark? Bridges. I mean, where would Madison County be without them? Despite Phnom Penh being built at the confluence of Cambodia's two greatest rivers, there aren't that many big bridges in the city. Today I'm gonna to get off my ass and I'm gonna show you all the bridges in Phnom Penh from the oldest bridge, which has a crazy history, to the newest bridge, the first cable state bridge in Phnom Penh. I love me a nice big cable state bridge. This new bridge might just be the most beautiful bridge in Phnom Penh. It probably is, I haven't seen it yet, I don't know, but it looks pretty good in the pictures. We'll check that out. We're also gonna see a bridge that is currently being built, and I think when that's finished, it's gonna have a big impact on Phnom Penh. It's gonna change the way people travel throughout the city. But we'll go even bigger than that. I'm gonna show you where they're planning to build what will be the biggest bridge in the city, the first bridge to cross the Mekong River in Phnom Penh. Game frickin' changer. If this thing does get built, it's gonna change Phnom Penh forever. I'll give you all the details about that one. So many bridges today. What is this, the 1989 movie, The Fabulous Baker Boys? Let's get going. Time to hit the road to the Ablad. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 This is Monty Vong Bridge, built in 2009. I believe there was an old Monty Vong Bridge, and this one replaced the old one. This 269 meter bridge takes you across the Basak River to Wow. During rush hour, this bridge gets jammed up with traffic. It's a bit of a nightmare, but hopefully that will change soon. I'm in the area called Gonorrhea. And uh, here's the bridge. Looking about, mm, I'd say 70% done. You can see they got the towers up, they got the cables attached to it. It's a cable stayed bridge. The hope is that this bridge will eliminate these two ferries. You won't have to slowly bring people across this little channel. They got two ferries running right now, long lineups. So imagine all that traffic doesn't have to sit there and wait and they can just take the bridge. It's gonna be huge for this area. By maybe the end of this year, it will be the newest bridge in Phnom Penh. Look at all that traffic go. So you can see all these people are taking the ferry rather than taking that Monavong Bridge and heading into the downtown that way, just because the traffic gets bad on that bridge. So the hope is this new bridge will alleviate that traffic jam that happens in the early mornings. Right now it's like 9.44, so rush hour's over. I missed it all, but you can still see a pile of people coming, looking to get downtown. That Monty Vong Bridge is the only bridge that crosses the Basak in downtown Phnom Penh. So anybody on the opposite side of the river has to take it, basically, or take a ferry. The bridge was expected to take 35 months. I think they're pretty accurate with that. I'm not really sure though. And it cost $38 million, so. Um, you know, a million dollars a month almost, they're popping into this. Cambodia's national road number one is just south of us here. It's a super important road. You could say it's the number one road in Cambodia. And so obviously a lot of people coming from that direction will take this bridge to join up with national road number one. It goes all the way to Vietnam. This Koh Nori area, you can see there's a lot of development happening. You can see buildings being built there, over here. There's a whole lot of boris in this area. A bori is a term that we use in Cambodia and it basically means like a gated community. So this side of the river over here is great for families. It's kind of 
I would say Phnom Penh's like first real suburb where families can get a place, a decent sized like house instead of living in an apartment. They can have a yard. So I think a lot of people will want to live in this area and then commute into Phnom Penh and this bridge will really, really help that. So right across here, that is Diamond Island, AKA Coal Peak. It's an island, but it's a very small kind of island. Like the water that separates it from the mainland, it sometimes dries right up. We're gonna cross over and go over to Diamond Island. I think I'm going to, instead of waiting for the ferry, I'm gonna test the ablat a little bit and I'm gonna try to ramp it. I'm gonna go really fast, hit that part, jump over to that part, continue going, and then try to like drive up one of those orange things and ramp that second gap and then uh, ramp that last little gap and, and we'll get over the Diamond Island that way. Actually, maybe I'll just take the ferry. It probably is safer. Up until the year 2000, Diamond Island was pretty much just a swamp. You couldn't build on it. In fact, it's believed that the island was created after a ship sunk in the river and the land started collecting around it, creating the island. The land was bought by a developer and in the past 23 years, it's completely transformed. It now has a convention center on it. There are condos. I think the biggest park in the city is there. The Canadian International School has a beautiful campus on it. There's a roller rink, mini golf, restaurants, cafes, and even a replica of the Arc de Triomphe. Its boardwalk is one of the best places to jog in the city. I even found a snake murdering a frog. So, lots of tourist attractions on Diamond Island. All that being said, I'm surprised how empty the streets on Diamond Island are. It's located very close to downtown Phnom Penh, but perhaps high prices are keeping the locals away. I'm not sure, but I'm betting that this new bridge will help drive people to this little island on the Mekong. Okay, I'm going to drive up to the tippy-toppy of the island, and we'll see if we can get a good look at Troy Chang Ba, which is another area of Phnom Penh that is quickly developing. Oh, shit. Let's go through the heart, because it's probably good luck. Not bad, not bad. And there it is. Over there, that's Troy Changla. So Troy Changla is a peninsula. It kind of looks like an island from here, but it's a peninsula. And it's right where two rivers meet, the Tonal Sap and the Mekong River, the two greatest rivers in Cambodia, I would say. So you got downtown Phnom Penh, that's the riverside area. And then you got the Tonal Sap River, which comes from the Tonal Sap, which is Tonal Lake. And then you got Troy Chang Va, the giant peninsula. And then you got the Mekong River. So this is where the Mekong meets up with the Tonal Sap. And then together they head off to Vietnam, kind of like the backpackers down in that riverside area. 
What is this guy up to? Just digging out mud. The Troy Chang Ba Bridge way off in the distance there, that will get you from downtown Phnom Penh to Troy Chang Ba. And then from Troy Chang Ba, if you want to get across the Mekong, well, there is no bridge. You can't do it. You have to take actually this ferry right here and that'll take you over across there. So no bridge that crosses the Mekong in Phnom Penh, but that's about to change. They're planning to build a bridge from basically the night market area on the riverside there over to Troy Trang Va, and you'll be able to get off the bridge there and then it'll continue on to this area over here, which is called and that will definitely be the longest bridge in Phnom Penh. I don't know if you count that as two bridges or one bridge. There's not really much other than farmland over there right now, but a bridge would open it up for more construction. It would allow the city to grow east. It would be huge. Now I'm trying to see if you can see the newest bridge. It's further up the river. You can't see it from here. Up the Tonal Sap River, past Troy Trang Va Bridge is Phnom Penh's newest bridge. So let's go check it out. Let's see if I can go drive across that bridge for the first time. It's a cable stayed bridge. It's a big, big bridge. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever drove my scooter across a big cable stayed bridge. So this might be a first for me. Check it out. There it is. That's the Rusi 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 Kao Bridge. Brand spanking new. Definitely doesn't look finished, but there is traffic driving on it. So what they did was actually open the bridge early so people could use it for the Khmer New Year because traffic gets really crazy in the Khmer New Year. Tons of people wanting to leave the city, so they have basically the Troy Trang Va Bridge option and then now the uh, Rusi Kao bridge so it's the first cable stayed bridge in operation in Phnom Penh cable stayed basically just means the cables run from the towers and they attach to the road surface here suspension bridges you'd see drooping cables and basically the cable would run from a post to land and then there'd be cables coming down attached to the road this is a difference I don't know I'm kind of into bridges a little bit no! Like this bridge here, they started construction about five and a half years ago in October 2017. $35 million project. And at night they light it up. So all those cables are lit up with like fluorescent lighting. I love living in a city like this that is changing so fast. And like every day it just seems like, oh, this thing is new. Oh, they just broke ground on the new highway. It's gonna go to the Vietnamese border. They're gonna build the highway there. Like, oh, cool, that's a cool thing. Yeah, every day it seems like there's something new popping up. And it's really, really cool place to live. All right, let's go try and drive across that bridge and we'll do a quick drive around the Troy Trang Ba area and then we can cross over that bridge to go home. Warning, the following stunt is being attempted by a professional idiot. Do not attempt to try it at home. I saved the oldest bridge for last. This 709 meter long bridge is the Cambodia-Japan Friendship Bridge, or the Troy Chang Ba Bridge, which was built in 1963 with the help of Japanese aid. In 1972, the Khmer Rouge packed a vehicle with explosives and blew up the Troy Chang Ba Bridge. Part of it collapsed into the river and three civilians were killed. The bridge sat destroyed up until 1994 when it was rebuilt, again using money donated by Japan. Then in 2017, they noticed cracks in the pillars, so they closed it down for a year and completely renovated it. 
Again, thanks to Japanese aid via money, equipment, and labor. Breaking that cake, flexing seven.